Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. Blue wants to say hi. He's coming in here. Say hi, Blue. Right there. Say hi. He's my cute little doggy. Anyway, I'm going to be working on Beautiful Savior, I'm Yours Forever. Um, this is a painting I started before Christmas, and I'm actually going to um, try to finish it here live. So, when you log on, tell me where you're from, tell me who you are, and if this is your first time seeing me paint, um, or if you are, you already know. You already know who I am, and you maybe you're in Paint Party Headquarters or somewhere else. Um, also, I'm going to be, after I do some flowers, I'm gonna do a short Bible study. Um, so I have my Bible here, and I have um, a Jesus Calling. I told y'all before I use the kids' version of Jesus Calling. Um, so I'm going to be sharing a very, very, very short Bible study. So if you want to be a part of that, um, stay tuned. Let me make this a little straighter for you. And I'm going to be showing you how to do some simple flowers. Um, so let me know where you're from. I'm going to be painting, adding some detail to this. And this is a giant canvas. This is 24... 24 by, I think it's a 36. Let me double check. It's always good to have one of these. I love having these. And, um, oh no, it is a 30, a 30 by 24, 24 by 30. I was a little off. And um, 24 by 30, but you can do this on anything. So I use the cutter to get the words. And then I'm going to be doing some really, like just fun, frilly designs. And I just, is that from Australia? What time is it in Australia? Is it really late? Aren't y'all like six hour, aren't y'all like a day ahead of us? Isn't that right, a day ahead of us? <laughs> okay, so I picked some colors here and y'all know I love um, just some of the bright colors. I love the deco art colors. So this one that I'm starting with is um, purple pizzazz. And then I'm also using um, sea breeze. Sea breeze, and then I'm gonna throw in some cadmium yellow, cadmium, I don't know how to say that. And thank y'all so much for um, spreading the love across Facebook, I appreciate it. All right, this one is a royal fuchsia, royal fuchsia, and then one of my favorite colors, bluegrass green, and then y'all know I gotta use some 24 karat gold, okay? So I'm gonna do some designs. I do a lot of hibiscus, but I'm not doing hibiscus today. I'm using a one inch flat brush and I'm gonna start adding in some little designs here. So I'll kind of show y'all what I'm doing. I don't wanna, it's okay if I paint on my Bible, but I would rather, <laughs> rather not paint on my Bible. So I'm gonna try to not do that, okay? Can y'all see this? Let me see if y'all can see this. And I'm gonna go all over the canvas. Just gonna kind of start getting just a little bit of a, I'm gonna do some hearts here, some basic hearts. Blue is sitting over on a chair right over there. Okay, so I'm just using the flat inch brush, some basic hearts. And this is one of those paintings where sometimes you can just kind of, um, especially with this purple, sometimes you have to do a double layer of purple. Um, it's early, 7.45 Friday morning. Oh my gosh, so our Australian people are watching super early. Um, okay, so I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to just, um, I'm going to actually go ahead and go straight to the, the pink. And then the key to this painting is layering, okay? So right now, and I always tell this people, you know, who come to my paint parties, when you come to a paint party, I'll say, everybody take a deep breath. It's okay to make a mistake. Like, you know, you have to kind of remember that. And it's, and it's us too. So when we're first putting stuff on, which I think, I think this one needs shook a little bit. And when we're first putting a layer on, sometimes it needs a little bit more than just, you know, um, a one coat. And so that's why I'm, oh yeah, and this one really just needed shook up, the Royal Fuchsia. So I'm gonna kind of just add in some layers, but I'm gonna actually go up on top of this as well. And I'm going to be painting this fast, not because I'm trying to hurry for y'all, but because um, my phone is about to die and Bobby and Pixie, I lose every single charger. Does anybody else have a problem losing chargers? <laughs> I lose them all. I take them all and I lose them all. 
And um, so they stole them all. So I was looking for a charger today. The only one I have is the one that's like secured by my bed. And so I've been like going to my bedroom and like putting my phone on charge for like five minutes, then coming back out and working and then going to put my phone. So I gotta have a talk with them tonight when they get home <laughs> because I need at least one of their chargers. I know I'm losing. They should have just bought me like 10 chargers for Christmas. That would have been a good Christmas gift because I cannot keep a charger to save my life. And I, it's not in my purse. It's not in my backpack. Like, I don't know where it is. I just lose them. And I know I lose them. Like, I cannot keep them to save my life. Okay, so I'm just um, doing this. And again, those of y'all that are just getting on, um, just want to say thank y'all for being here. My name is Heidi. And right now I'm doing a painted prayer, which I do teach at paint parties. And I also teach women in paint party headquarters how to do this. Um, but basically I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. Although there are a few guys in our group and um, mostly it's women. And then um, I'm gonna do a short Bible study here in a minute that I thought was really good for today. And um, so if y'all wanna stay for that too. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the painting and then um, I'm gonna do a short Bible study, hopefully all before my phone dies. No pressure, right? Okay. Okay, so right now it does not look that impressive, but I got a little coat on, right? So the whole key about this is getting coats on. I'm gonna go to the the lighter blue because I'm gonna be adding another layer and then I'm gonna um, be adding some gold. Um, no, Susan doesn't lose hers because they stay plugged in in the same place, plus they have a base. <laughs> okay, so my problem, Susan, is I do lives all over the place. So if I'm in my, I need one that's stuck in, that's what I need, Susan. I need one that's in my art studio at all times. I need one that's in my art office at all times. I need a traveling one that goes with me to my paint parties. And then I need one in the kitchen. So I need to buy four chargers. <laughs> and I, I need to make sure I don't move them because that's the problem. I move it to do lives and then I move it to do events. And then the next thing you know, I've left it at an event. I've left it. Uh, yeah, it's just a disaster. I'm kind of, I'm ashamed at how many I've lost. I just can't, can't keep up with them. When we go on vacation, it's kind of a joke in our family because Bobby will keep all the chargers and he hands them, he hands it to me like at night. Like, okay, here's your charger. <laughs> like I'm a kid because I can't, I just can't keep up with it. Okay, so I have that going on. Um, I'm going to kind of have some lines going up here. Let me see. I'm going to just go around this. And this is where you can have a lot of freedom and a lot of fun. So if you notice, I'm just taking my brush, going back and forth, and just adding just a little outline. And in a second, I'm gonna add some kind of lines to it. And then we'll let it dry a minute while I do the quick Bible study, and then I'll go back on and add some layers. Okay, so here's where you can have fun and you can just kind of do some line work. And I'm gonna add like a whimsical tulip up here. So I'm just gonna do a, can y'all see that? Oh my gosh, y'all can't see that. Hold on, hold on y'all, I'm sorry. There we go. Now you can see it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a blue and I'm just gonna make almost like a teardrop shape. And again, I'm doing all this with the big brush. If you um, struggle with that, go ahead and switch to a small brush. And then any of y'all in Paint Party Headquarters, if this turns out cute, you can use the design for um, paint parties but I gotta see if it turns out cute first. That's the good thing about painting though. If it doesn't turn out exactly how you want, let it dry a few minutes and paint right over it. But I wanted something just to kinda, you know, painted prayers. I started coming up with it because I just wanted to memorize a quote, really. That's the, the way it started. And I wanted to memorize a quote and then I couldn't memorize it so I painted it 
And then I just started thinking, oh my gosh, what it, wouldn't it be cool if we painted like our favorite songs, like some of the lyrics of our favorite songs? Wouldn't it be awesome if we painted, um, you know, some really cool, um, I don't know, you know, Bible verses, just all kinds of fun stuff like that. And, um, and just put those words all over our house. Like how cool would that be? So Painted Prayers was born and then um, it's just kind of morphed into people all over doing um, these events where they might share a testimony or they might share a Bible verse or a small Bible study. And then, um, you know, everybody's painted prayer looks different, has a different feel, but it is meaningful to them because it's something that matters in their life. And I think that's what the coolest part of this is um, because it's something that means something special to them, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna make, can y'all see this right here? I think you can. Let's see, uh, my daughter has her own mobile store, so I just um, hit her up if I need one. <laughs> that's a, oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this down. Um, I love Tam, Tamara Laporte, um, and so I love how she does kind of her whimsical stars and her whimsical hearts kind of hanging, not like, you know, the stars are just in the, like sometimes she'll do the stars are in the sky and then other times she'll have them where they're kind of like they're hanging. So I have a little bit of pink and a little bit of um, turquoise on here. I'm just kind of doing them both at once. I'm just getting a few stars in here. You can see they're not perfect. It's a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna bring over a flower over here. And then the more I add, the better it's obviously gonna look, but the more you start to add to this, um, the more detail, the more fun, so the whole thing is gonna be just covered in flowers. And then, of course, once it dries, all the details will go on top of them. I'm gonna just do a little whimsical Almost like an M. How many of y'all have been painting this week? Um, I know with the holidays, sometimes it's kind of hard to get back in the groove of things, but man, the other day I painted, I was just like, oh, I felt like I was just refreshed, you know? Go back to the pink. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Kind of have these patterns repeating. So as you can see, I haven't washed my brush at all. And I'm just kind of mixing these colors as they go because I know it's kind of the base coat, so it's not really that big of a deal unless you get a big chunk of a color you don't want. But these colors blend really well together, so it's fine, even if, even if they're on there. And I did paint this canvas solid black first. So if I was doing this at a Painted Prayers event, I would have them paint they canvas whatever color they wanted, and then they would have to let it dry a little bit. So it is a process. You know, the painted prayers, I'd say they take at least two and a half hours. Um, I've done them, you know, bigger sizes bigger than this as a paint party, as well as um, a 16 by 20 size, and they and even 11 by 14, and they still, it, does, it doesn't matter, it still seems to take a good three, two and a half to three hours to do those because people just really get involved and they really love the process. So um, I find to just not rush it, have fun with it and, you know, go from there. And um, let's see. Um, oh, hey, Linda, I'm glad you caught me live. Yes, painting and sharing a lot lately. Valentine's on the brain. I know lots of Valentine's. I got some heart stuff going on here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fill in these, these stars. 
and I have a yellow too, but I don't want, I'm, I kind of sometimes don't like to use the traditional colors for, you know, like, so if a star's yellow, I don't want to paint it yellow. <laughs> I like to paint them different colors. Does anybody else do that? Like, you kind of go against the traditional colors of things um, to make it more whimsical. So, like, when I was working on that mural the past few months, which I humbled myself a little bit. I think I just had too many projects going on, but I was like, yeah, I can probably do it in two weeks. I had too much other stuff going on. It took me like a month. It was insane. It took me forever because I was working on other stuff and going back to it. And it just took me forever. But it was such a fun project because there was so many um, areas I could just have whimsical stuff. I mean, the whole thing was whimsical. Um, I have a big old piece of my hair. Okay, let me move that. Okay, all right, so um, this is kind of going, I'm gonna add a few more details and then I'm gonna do the short Bible study because um, I really wanna share that with you. I read it this morning and I thought it was really great. I get emails from y'all all the time and the overwhelming, overwhelming um, conversation is fear and not sure, you know, like the overwhelming conversation that I hear from y'all is fear and, you know, not being good enough or the, the scaredness of like how to get started or all of those things with paint parties. And, and so when I read this this morning, it just, I don't know, it just gave me a peace and it just made me think about how God really loves us and how he wants to see us succeed. And so I'm going to share that here in just a second. All right, I'm just adding some leaves. And I don't know about y'all, but just the, the 2020 pressure. Oh my gosh. You know, like I had to stop talking about the pressure of the 2020 and just start looking at the things I'm thankful for. Because how many of y'all like are hearing it everywhere. It's a new decade. Not only, you know, a new decade, it's a new slate. It's a fresh slate, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just overwhelming this like need to be all of a sudden this superpower woman or something, right? And, you know, it's 2020. Now we're supposed to be perfect. And now everything's supposed to be right. You know, it's just like overwhelming. And so um, I took a training and I talk, I talk more about it. I posted a little bit of thing about it, but it talks about gratitude and how, you know, we all need to remember gratitude. And during that training, they did something really cool. They said, go back in your photos to just kind of remember what happened this past year. And um, it was so cool. I mean, it was just so cool because our photos really do tell us, you know, besides the fact of just seeing all the fun paint parties and different people I got to meet, but also just all the memories with my family and the different things we did that I forgot that even happened this year because we're all so focused on the next thing. So, um, so yeah, so if you have not done that yet and you're just, you know, getting in that pressure of everything's got to be perfect, you know, it's 2020, it's a new blah, 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 you know, and everything's got to be right right now. Just give yourself some grace. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Because I was kind of like that for a little bit, you know. And then it's like, come on, people. Like, it doesn't matter when it happens. We just have to remember whatever we're doing. We're doing it for God. We're trying to, you know, do the right thing by Him. And, and really use our talents for God's glory. So... I think sometimes we can just get overwhelmed and then the next thing you know, we're just like, I can't do any of it. Can't we go back to 2019 where there's no pressure? There was no pressure at the end of the year, but the beginning of the year, you gotta, you know, you gotta lose 40 pounds right off the bat. You gotta do this. You gotta all of a sudden eat smoothies for every meal. Like there's a lot, a lot of pressure. Anybody feel that pressure? You just gotta let it go. Okay, so um, of course, I'm gonna go over this in just a second with some different variations, but I wanna share real quick this Bible study with you. Again, I am not sitting here saying I know the Bible. I still look at the table of contents. Um, I'm not a Bible scholar. I just wanna put that out there for those of you um, that, are, that are thinking that, but I do wanna share this really quick and I wanna share one verse, okay? Um, so never give up. It says, I am always with you and for you. I am your biggest fan. 
When you decide to do something that fits my plans for you, nothing in heaven or on earth can stop you. I love that so much. You may face some problems along the way to your goal that is part of living in an imperfect world, but never give up. With my help, you can conquer any problem. But don't just rush headlong towards your goal, trying to make things happen when you want them to. First, come to me. Ask me to guide you every step of the way, minute by minute. Let me set the pace. I struggle with that sometimes. Do y'all struggle with that sometimes? Um, let me set, set the pace. Sometimes I may ask you to wait or to slow down or even to stop for a while. But remember, my timing is perfect. Trust me and enjoy sharing the journey with me. And then I circled one of the verses here, which I love. So Romans 8.31. I'm going to read that to you. Um, Romans 8.31 says, What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? And then verse 32. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he also not, wait, I'm sorry. How will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Um, you know, I talked recently to um, Paint Party Headquarters about how, like, you know, we need to ask God for things. You know, there's so many times whenever we, um, you know, we say our prayers or we think that, you know, God can't do it. And I'm totally done with praying small. Totally done. Like, I've told you all this before when my dad had his heart transplant. You put a heart in another human and he gets a second chance at life. Like that is a freaking miracle. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm done, you know, praying small. I'm done dreaming small and I'm done, you know, asking the creator of all things for little small things. Cause he's huge. He can do such great things for us. So, so my thing is, is, you know, obviously we want to glorify God, but we have so many talents and you playing small, like it says, you know, Marianne, she talks about in the book of miracles, you know, you playing small doesn't serve the world. You know, you doing what you do great, whether it's playing piano or singing or gardening or sewing or whatever that is, whatever you are doing great, that's what gives other people like, oh, wait, if she does it, it gives you permission to do it too. And so I think so many times we, we don't want, I mean, it was funny, Pixie said something the other day. She said something like, well, you know, if I do a really good job singing, she mentioned um, how, you know, it might make other people not feel as good about themselves if she really did a good job. And I said, Pixie, do you not remember the quote by our washer and dryer that I've had up forever? And she goes, yeah, I thought of that. And I was like, yeah, I said, don't not share your gifts because you're afraid you're going to make somebody else feel like they don't have gifts because everybody has gifts, everybody. It's just whether you're choosing to use them or not. And so what I try to teach her is to not only find your gifts, which she loves singing, but not only to find your gifts, but how can you use that for God's glory, not just for whatever, you know, but how can you use it for God's glory? So I want to just challenge y'all today to remember, you know, it's in God's timing. However, we still want to do our part with, let me make sure that y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? <laughs> we still want to do our part with um, actually using our gifts, you know, because he gives us this awesome gift while we're on this, on this earth. And then if we choose to do nothing with it, you know, who's that serving? Nobody. So I know sometimes we can just get comfortable and think, eh, but what, what gift do you have? And, and if you don't mind, if it's painting, put painting in the comments. I would love to hear what your gift is. And um, I'm going to turn this around as I start to, um, as I start to add some details to it. And can y'all see that? Okay. I might lift it just so y'all can see it a little better while I'm painting. Oh, let me go this way. I don't want to knock off my water. It's hard to show all of this because it's a big canvas. Maybe I should have done it on a little smaller canvas, but I want to have it really big so I can paint it. Okay, so I'm going to, um, so I can hang it. So I'm going to add some white in here and you'll see how it'll start to pop. And again, I've used the same brush the whole time. And if I don't see your comment, I'll try to go back and look at it 
and reply to you because I'd love to know what your gift is. You know, some of y'all have the gift of encouragement. Some of you are prayer warriors. Some of you are, you know, maybe you've never prayed before. Maybe you're like, what is this freak talking about on here? You know, <laughs> I mean, really, you know, I don't, I don't know who's watching and I don't know for sure um, what's going on in your life. I just know that there are gifts for everybody. Everybody has something that they're good at and maybe you haven't found it yet. But if you ask other people, usually they can tell you pretty quick. If you ask a friend or a somebody who knows you, what am I good at? And they can usually tell you really quick because people know they're, they'll say stuff right away. Just don't ask. If you have siblings that are like mine, don't ask siblings because our family's huge jokesters and it won't be a gift that you want to you want to use. It'll be some some funny, crazy, whatever comment. Maybe inappropriate. <laughs> Maybe an inappropriate comment. Yeah, my family deals with um everything, whether it's sad, good, bad. We deal with everything with humor. That's how we handle life is the things that that are even tragedies you know it's like we have to somehow bring some kind of laughter it's like our our weird go-to mechanism i guess it's the way we deal with things okay i'm just adding a white outline and then again you see that i have not changed brushes this whole time um my gifts are many painting and singing are the two. Oh my gosh you have singing too i so wish i mean i can sing but nobody wants to hear me um i'm really bad at singing but i love it so much i always think like man if i could just sing and then i'm like well i can sing but it's just not good <laughs> nobody wants to hear me Okay, and I'm just using the same brush, just kind of going over some of these details, and then I'm going to add a little bit of gold. Who has done a painted prayer before? And thanks for sharing your gifts. I can't wait to go back and see what y'all write. And this, may I may need to go to a smaller brush. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to switch. All right, I'm gonna go to like a six or an eight round. And um, let's see, my primary gift is administration. I'm good at organizing finances, etc. Oh, that is a very good blessing. That's a great gift to have. And um, one of my best friends is super organized. And she um, came over one time when I was freaking out over my schedule. And I was like, you gotta come help me. And she came over and we stayed up till like one in the morning writing down everything and she like made it all pretty and then I could know what I needed to do when it was awesome I'm like how did you even do that <laughs> she was really talented okay so now I'm gonna go in with the 24 karat gold so that's a fun looking plate and some yellows and some greens and some bluegrass greens so let me add a few details to this and let me see if y'all can see all of that. I think, can y'all see all of that? I think it's like, I might scoot it back just a tad. Okay, can y'all see it now? There we go. Let's see, my talent, balloon twisting with artwork. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Um, Pixie has an absolute beautiful singing. Oh, thank you, Tammy. And painting and crafts. Oh, good. Yeah, I think creating is like one of the best. Th I mean, you know, God's the ultimate creator. He created us to create. And there's just so, so much. I'm going to go with this lighter. This is Laguna. And then the 24 karat gold. And then I'm going to go with a yellow green. The key here is to pick a color palette that you like looking at. 
and then I'm going to go with a cadmium yellow. So pick a color that you like looking at. I'm, I love the bright colors. They just make me very happy. Um, but you might want more like reds or maroons or something of that nature. So whatever works for you. Okay, so I'm going to add, I'm going to go in with some different brushes. And then also I have a palette knife, which you could take a palette knife and do some fun stuff too. Um, it's totally up to you, but I'm just going to kind of add some details here. So I'm going to take my gold, and this is pretty dry. It's not perfect. And I want it on there pretty thick. For those of you that have never used the 24 karat gold from Deco Art, the metallic that I talk about all the time, you have got to use it because the camera does not do it justice. How many of y'all have bought this already? Um, it is beautiful and especially in person, it just shines and shimmers and just has such a great look. Um, they have a lot of great metallics, but this is by far my favorite. They have a bunch of different golds too, but the 24 karat gold is really great. Unless you're like doing a Christmas, well, this works for Christmas too, but like if you're doing like the vintage Santa, I think I did some um, old gold with that. So I'm gonna add that and then I'm gonna add another layer with some dots here in a second. Has anybody heard of Zentangles? This is kind of a Zentangle technique where we are just, there we go. Let's see if I can zoom y'all in. I did that the other day and it worked. Yes, it's working. Okay, let me show y'all this one. So I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of the extras. Blue, you hanging out over there? So it's a little wet. I'm gonna do the back of this. And do dots in here. See, I have the gold and I agree, it's beautiful, it adds a nice pop. Yes, they just came out with it in texture gold. What, Milena? Oh my gosh, I've got to have that. Is it the 24 karat textured gold? Um, yeah, I have got to, got to get me some of that. Okay, so I'm just adding that to it. Now I'm gonna add some different shapes and dots and different things. Let me get this brush cleaned. I'm gonna zoom in to this other side. So we have this going on right now. I'll zoom in right there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of the green. I'm gonna do, and this is where like you can just, if it's not working, switch to a different color. Just adding some color here. And the key is, is to kind of keep it all complimentary, is before you start grabbing your paints, before you start painting, just grab all the colors you want and put them together and see if you like them. And if you like them together, then it doesn't really matter where you put them as long as they're just those. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that probably needs another little coat in a minute. I'm gonna add some darker blue to have my bluegrass green. There we go. That's the color I'm looking for, bluegrass green. I'm just gonna do some big circles here. And Zentangles, for those of y'all that don't know what that is, um, it's just a lot of fun. It's just basically somebody called it doodles. It's just a fancy way to say doodles. 
but somebody coined it Zentangles and made ways to kind of do a, do projects with it. It's really cool. But it, it's just basically doodles and repeating shapes. But it's very, when you're drawing or painting it, it's very therapeutic. I think you are missing some of it because I am moving. Let me zoom it out. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So I'm just adding some bluegrass green to give it a little bit more pop onto this lighter blue. And I'm using an eight round. And I'm just kind of going on one side. Getting some color in here so it's kind of all cohesive. This is a really fun painting. I'm going to start doing some yellow, pops of yellow. Oh, yeah. That'd be good. This is a cadmium yellow. It's a little bit. I'm going to do some bigger colors of this yellow over here. That's the thing about these painted prayers. They kind of change as you go. <laughs> so sorry I'm quiet. I'm really kind of thinking about it. And I really want this to turn out good because I want to put it up in my house. Um, so I'm just kind of, you know, putting a little bit more because it's a new painting and I've never done it before and I haven't drawn it, I'm just kind of going off the cuff here. Um, I'm just kind of thinking, you know how half of your, your work as an artist is thinking of things. <laughs> you know, it's so funny whenever I do um, murals or, or things like that, I always, um, several times, you know, you're thinking about it for weeks before you actually do it. Like I like to go Anytime I'm doing a new painting or something like that, like it just, it's like it's brewing in your head. Does anybody else have that? Like it's going in your head for a while before it ever comes out on paper or on canvas. And so um, I've been thinking about this one over Christmas, kind of how I want it to look. And, um, and so now that it's starting to come together, I'm like changing a few things and, and just kind of going with it. So it can be almost like a little work in progress. So I talked about like, I don't like the colors to be exactly the colors, like a star, I don't want it to be solid yellow. Um, but because we have yellow down there, I do want to add pops of yellow. So I'm going to do that with some little dots, some dots going up the line here. I think anytime you're doing a whimsical painting, when you're adding swirls or dots and repeating shapes, I think it can just really make it have some more fun to it. Now remember to breathe when you're painting. I get to where I like I hold my breath. <laughs> See if I else do that. I'm like watching the dots and I forget to breathe. I'm like, oh yeah. Gotta breathe too. Breathing is important when you're doing this. Okay, so who's gonna do their own painted prayer? Anybody out there up for the challenge? Painted prayer, just take a saying or a something that's meaningful to you or to your family. It could be it could be like a quote your great grandpa said that you always love. Um you know, something cool like that. It could be, it could be anything really. Um, but it just needs to be something meaningful so that you'll want to paint it. Because if it's not meaningful, it doesn't matter. You know, when I taught art for so many years, um, 
there were projects that we did and as long as the kids stayed within the guidelines of the project they could kind of make it however they wanted and the reason I did that is because I knew if they were excited about something they would really get excited and want to to make it more their own um low battery okay about to have to finish this up um I have a black canvas that is just waiting for something like this oh my gosh that's awesome it is well worth my soul oh that's wonderful oh my mom's on here tell, tell my mom hi everybody hi mom <laughs> um I do one every month our church sponsors it and so it's free and open to the community Melissa that is wonderful oh my gosh that is wonderful um Gina says, courage to do my own dream come true in my life. My studio almost four years ago in April. Awesome. I was very afraid to stand up in front of all the people. Now I love my job because each party I bring them a little seed for my dream. That is so cool. And um, let's see. Don says, I want to do the painting of the serenity prayer. Oh, that would be really awesome. Yeah. And that's the thing too. The serenity prayer. Um, remember whenever you're doing any painted prayer, you can do what, however many words you want. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can do however many you want. But if you're teaching it in a paint party setting, I like to have the people choose something that's um, 10 words or less. If not, they're not going to ever finish it <laughs> because it just, it just takes longer. You know, it just takes a little longer for that. Okay, so I think I might add a little bit more to this. What do y'all think so far? It's about... Yeah, I think it's getting close. I feel like I need to put some um, like highlight lines in it and I'm gonna go over the gold some more. So once I finish this all the way, I'll make sure to share the finished product. But I just wanna remind y'all, you know, painted prayers don't have to be this major difficult thing. It can be something that's just really meaningful to you. It can be a quote, it can be a, a lyric of a song, it could be um, a, you know, a verse, a Bible verse, whatever it is. Um, it could be something, you know, I have one in my office that says fear is a liar and I keep it in my office because a lot of times I'm doing really scary things like, you know, with my business and I'm scared and I'm like, no, I'm not going to let it get me. Fear is a liar and I move forward from there. So um, whatever it is, try to come up with something that is meaningful to you. And then let me see if that's... Um, there we are. <laughs> Something that's meaningful to you. And then you can um, put it on a painted prayer. So anyway, I would love to see them. I might do a post later this week and just ask you to show your painted prayer. So here it is a little bit up close. Again, it's not all the way finished, um, but you can see the gold. It kind of shimmers. And then once I finish it all, I'll post the finished product. But I want to see y'all's, okay? So let me see y'all's too. All right, guys, I hope y'all have a great night and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.